All right, thanks for stopping by. So one thing I've missed about the high desert is when you rely on solar power like I do, this can replenish your battery bank in no time. Look at all this sunshine. You know, spending all summer up under those pine trees. There was times I struggled for solar power, but I needed the shade of those pine trees to stay cool. Let's jump up here. All right, so I have 400 watts of solar panels up here that recharges my house batteries. That's 200 amp hour of lithium batteries. I also have three power stations. I have the small Vever, which is 300 watt hour. I have the mid-size Blue Eddy, which is 700 watt hour. And I have the big V Tobin, which is 1500 watt hour. And I just plugged them into my little cigarette lighter that I have coming off of the battery bank from my house batteries. I didn't even pull out the portable solar panels. Didn't need to. I got a new neighbor down here, travel trailer and truck. That is a nice camp spot there. But now that I have Starlink, I'm using more battery power than ever. But being back out here in the high desert with all the sunshine, no problemo. I mean, charged everything up in no time. Sunshine is so important. Okay, let's play this clip again because I want to tell you what I'm working on. You know, I mentioned my Vever power station. You know, they also have ladder racks. They have all kinds of tools. And I've been talking to them about sending me some new ladder racks. And when I get to my dad's house, I could install them and make a video about it. Because I've never been happy with these ladder racks. I mean, they stick up too tall and they're getting some rust around the edges. And the ones that Vever has is much shorter. They don't have these fins that stick up so high so it would make the clearance of the van much lower so maybe while I'm visiting my dad we can do an install video and I'm just gonna do it just like this you know four ladder racks and stainless steel zip ties that's how it's been up here for years and it's worked out great so if I'm able to get the ladder racks from Vever I'm gonna install them the exact same way it's so simple no drilling no cutting no nuts and bolts just get a pack of stainless steel zip ties and four ladder racks and you just twist on the zip ties torque them down and cut off the excess they've been up here for three years and have not moved a millimeter I remember when I made the install video in Nashville and I had a few naysayers questioning my judgment but I knew it would work I know the power of stainless steel zip ties it's just the most simple and effective way you can mount solar panels. You don't have to drill holes in your roof. It's completely unnecessary. You can just get racks. Even if you don't have the gutter mount system like I have, if you have a modern van where you bolt the ladder racks down into the roof, the bolts are already there from the factory. So you just get some ladder racks, put them on, and then space them out so each uh, solar panel ends where the ladder rack begins and then the solar panels already have holes drilled you know so you just slide the stainless steel zip tie through torque it down with some needle nose pliers and uh, cut off the excess so hopefully I can get this deal worked out with Vever and soon we can be mounting up some new ladder racks and the solar panels have a new lower profile system and I just think they're better quality than what I currently have because these rusted way too soon. And I've just uh, never been a fan of the big spears sticking up on the top. See how tall they stick up above the panels? That's unnecessary. They only need to stick up like an inch or two. All right, so uh, tomorrow I move on and I'll check back in with you when I find a new campsite. So until next time, take care, be well, and smash the bell.